hey guys welcome to product coders point okay so in this tutorial we're gonna check out how to call android native code from Flutter app okay so let's begin okay so let's go to our android studio and here i'm making use of the same Flutter project that i have made use in my previous tutorial that is back press to exit okay so here i have a main.dart page so in main.dart page we have a scaffold widget which has uh, two widgets that is text widget and a button to call our native code okay so let me add a comment okay so before starting with the coding i'm going to just show you a flowchart of how this works okay so this is the flowchart of uh, flutter platform architecture of how to call a native code from flutter okay so here we have our client that is our flutter code or you can say main dot dart file from main dot dart file we are going to call our uh, host that is android code so this is the process this is very simple process so from uh, flutter code we are going to make use of method channel to send request to our host that is android code and android code will process the data by invoking sdk android or ios sdk you can see over here okay so it will process the data over here and it will just response the data that we have requested back to our Flutter app. Okay, so let's do it now. So let's check out in our code. Okay, so over here uh, in stateful widget, uh, let's me create a variable uh, static const channel is equal to method channel. Okay, so over here we need to give a unique name to this channel so i will just give a unique name as my app package name okay uh, so now when the button is been pressed i am going to just call my native android code so here i will just create a function okay so here is a function that calls our native code that is android code to get to show a toast message okay so this method is been called when the button is been pressed okay okay so over here final int uh, so toast is equal to await and over here we must make use of the channel that we have created so this is the channel variable so just make use of it channel dot invoke method and over here we need to define which method we need to invoke okay so let me name the method as so toast okay so this key and this key will be used in our android code that i will do it afterwards okay so just remember it and from our flutter app we are going to pass some data to our android native code okay so over here i will just declare a map data okay so over here i am going to just pass a message to our native code so the message will be this is a toast message from flutter to android okay so this message will be passed to our android code okay okay so now let's write a code in our android part okay so for that just go to android folder app sources main kotlin and over here you can see main activity so just open it and this is the empty uh, so there is nothing in this class so it is just making use of uh, flutter activity okay so you just need to open this android folder in your uh, android studio as a separate fold uh, module so just press on it okay so open it okay so i have already opened that so it may take some time to open so for that i have just opened it and kept okay so now you can see our folder app android part is open in my android studio ide as a separate project okay so now just go to okay so i need to check where it is okay so you can see this is my code i don't know why it is showing java over here because the code is in kotlin okay it's okay 
so let's code now okay so as you saw from our flutter app we are going to send the data to our android code so in main activity we need to catch this data okay so let's begin over here okay so first of all let me override a method that i need so just right click generate override method and search for configure flutter engine okay so just override it this method okay so now let's create two variables over here okay so one variable is private well channel is equal to your package name okay so in our okay so over here we gave named our channel method channel name as this the package name so i will just copy it and paste it in our android code okay and second variable private let in it variable and let name this variable as channel method okay so i'm initializing it as late initialization because i will just initialize this variable later on in this method okay so let's do it now so channel is equal to method channel flutter engine flutter engine dot dot executor dot binary messenger so here we need to pass two parameters one is binary messenger which is of type dart executor and the channel name so this one okay like this so let me okay so now here channel dot set method call handler okay so over here there are same methods so you must make use of this one you can see over here so it has two parameters that is call and a result so you must make use of it so over here uh, we can see we have two methods uh, that is variables call and result so if call dot method is equal to the method that we have passed from our flutter app okay so let's check it okay so you can see the method invoke we made is toast message so this is the key that we need to add you over here okay so whenever the button is being pressed we want to show a toast message so our android code will get to understand that will know that we i must show a toast message so this statement will work okay so over here we can just show a toast message okay so to show a toast message as usual toast dot make text this dot message so over here we need to pass a message okay so that's it our flutter is uh, flutter app is able to call our android native code and is able to show a toast message from here okay so let me run the project and check it out so just go to flutter project and run the project let's wait okay so our app is running now so when i press on this button so you can see we are going to make a call to our android native code and our toast message is been shown over here okay so if you remember uh, while making a call to show a toast message we are also passing a message to our android code from flutter okay so now let's make use of it so you can see this is the key and this is the value so let's go to android module again so in this call we have that message to get to uh, fetch the data from this call so we can create a variable argument argument is equal to call dot argument argument as map okay so here it is of type string and string okay so we have the data in our argument okay so let's fetch the message from it so message is equal to argument of 
key so over here i am going to pass the key that i need to fetch the data okay so now i will just make use of this message and show it in our toast message okay so let me restart the app again okay as we have uh, edited the code in android module i need to restart the app by stopping it okay so app got installed so let me check by pressing on this button so you can see this is the toast message from android to uh, sorry the flutter to android native okay so that's all for this video tutorial so if you want the source code of this uh, video tutorial you can just check the link in the description okay so thanks for watching please do subscribe protocol as point thank you